has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Back to throw. Rooney. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to need a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Danny Gray from 13 yards out. And the 49ers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Moody. get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And we see James. He will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block. But they're helping out, too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. What a moment for him, a pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember, because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints' first title. Yeah, that one pretty much sealed the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways, because, you know, unfortunately, I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison in the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big time play. But for me, the absolute classic, Willie Brown in slow motion against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man, Willie Brown, 75 yards. You recall them all, and what a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit. And they need this drive to end in points. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Looking to throw. Waters. The Sanders has got it complete. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Holding offense. That's Juwan Taylor, the right tackle. What a Super Bowl it's been to this point. Now a critical third down here. Off the play fake. Waters. And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. And that's caught inside the 35. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been ripped up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Back to throw. And in.
incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready if a tackle happens in. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. He's going to try and take off with it. Gets through and now an opening. Stiff armed him. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Take a knee as the clock ticks down toward 50 seconds to go. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout.